Hey there, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create this simple but realistic looking pillow using Marvelous Designer. Using the same techniques you can create photo realistic looking fabrics like the one here. You might need some basic understanding of the software but I'll try to explain all the basic steps you need. So without any further ado let's get right into it. Click and hold and select the rectangle tool and click on the empty spaces in the 2D window. We're going to create a 60 by 60 centimeter pillow here. Click OK. OK, in the 3D window, we can see there is a dark uh, white side and a dark side. The white side indicates the top part of the cloth and the dark side indicates the bottom part of the cloth. And click on the transform pattern tool and select our pattern. You want to rotate it by 90 degrees like so. And then right click and copy and then paste. This will uh, create the inner part of the cloth here, the inner two layers. And we're going to rotate this by 90 degrees. So the dark sides uh, face each other. We're going to move this one down like so. Gonna, uh, select both the inner layers, right click and select the instant pattern. Then we're going to copy this and paste to create the outer layers of the cloth below here. Then right click, copy and paste. Like so, and move it together. Now we got we are done with all the four layers here. These are two inner layers and the outer layers here. You're gonna select this outer layers. I'm using Shift to select, right click, and select instant pattern. Okay. Now we need to and we need to fill these inner layers with some form. For that, select the inner layers and add a pressure about eight, uh, eight here. Okay. Okay, uh, before we do that, we need to seal them together. So we're going to select segment sewing tool. And just in the 3D window, just select one segment here and click on the corresponding segment. So there will be a parallel lines indicating that you are, uh, these two segments are sewn together. And make sure to select the right side. If you select the, this side of the segment and then the opposite side of the segment, the sewing will be reversed. I'm going to undo this by clicking uh, Ctrl Z on the keyboard. And we're going to select the right side. So if you select the right side, the sewing will be parallel. And I'm going to speed up the process and uh, like so. Okay, the inner layers of the clothing uh, is done. So we need to sew the outer layers to the inner layers. So select the outer layers and repeat the process here. Okay, uh, since we selected this and add a pressure, if you simulate, uh, click on the simulate button or Press space on the keyboard. We can see that the pillow is already filled up due to this eight pressure we had already given to the inner layers. Now it is looking like a pillow, but the edges are a lot more sharp, so we need to correct that. So press space and then select this uh, smooth curve tool and click left click and drag and without the leave without leaving the left click, click on the right mouse button and give a 4 cm by 4 cm curvature here, click OK. And then repeat the process for all the sides, click OK. And I'll speed up this. Since we instance the pattern, one uh, the changes made to one pattern will reflect on the other, as you can see here. Click OK and now we can simulate this once again. And as, you, as you can see, the edges are a lot smoother here. Now we need to add more wrinkles. So select, uh, select our transform pattern tool and select out the outer layers. And for the shrinkage weft, uh, 105. And same for the shrinkage warp here. And we're going to simulate this. And you can see a lot more wrinkles are there. And now we need to add a new fabric for the outer layers. Click add this add button and select the preset to be nylon feather light and select the outer layers and apply this click and drag and apply this new nylon feather light material here and if you simulate 
Okay, we can see a lot more pattern and a lot more puffy cloth here. Okay, now for the particle distance, select it, uh, change it to 5. Now, if you simulate this, uh, give it some time. It will take some time depending on the configuration of your PC. And now we can see that Marvelous, has, Marvelous Designer has done simulation and the cloth is pretty realistic. We can see the curvature here. And some simulation is going on here, okay? My system is not that uh, powerful. Okay, now we need to add, okay? So this is a very realistic looking pillow. We need to add some texture. So go to the fabric tool and add a texture map here and select your texture for your pillow and click open. And this is your realistic looking pillow. We can maybe uh, just click on here and change the size of the uh, texture here. Okay, now it is looking very realistic. And this is it. If you have any doubts, feel free to ask on the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.